I started by writing a research paper for, about it, and I was going to write my research paper about like riding a horse or different reining things, and then I was like, this is really something that I'm passionate about, and this is really something that I need to take a stand on. So um, my presentation was really influenced by my past health problems that I had faced, and then my insurance's denial of coverage of a revolutionary surgery that I was going to have. And so my presentation was as wanting the audience to see that this is a revolutionary surgery and these patients need this to get their life back because they've lost the quality of life and some patients, a lot of them who have dealt with this, they go on and actually commit suicide. So oh, this is a really big deal that they need to be involved in a collaborative decision is what I want from the insurance company, the surgeons, and the patients to decide whether the surgery is insurable or not. It's really hard and really personal for me to explain, but it is one of the worst feelings in the world to walk up to a surgery and then not be able to have it just because the insurance decided that, I'm sorry, now it's uninsurable, even though it was insurable the day before. She said to me, I want to do something different than the typical read sources and write a paper. We had already been talking about her past history with chronic pain. She decided she wanted to do something with that. Even in her conversations, she went to so many primary sources. She called a surgeon and asked him to call her back of, out of his busy schedule, and he did. Her realization was the whole idea of this should be a collaborative effort between the surgeons and the insurance company and the patient. And when you look at the big picture, you make the decision about whether it's insurable. So we worked together the whole way through and she was still arriving at conclusions and shaping what she wanted to argue, practicing and putting together her presentation. And as she was creating the, the PowerPoint, she was thinking further and still learning from the process. I actually grew up in the Valley. I grew up in Creed and I really needed to be close to like my physical therapist and, and be like have my home front of like my parents just in case my pain were to spike up again. It's, it would be really scary to be like states away. So I chose out of state so I could have like smaller class sizes so I can have like that interaction because I didn't really have math so that's hard for me. And I didn't really have a bunch of science my last two years so that's hard for me. So I really needed like that personal or more of like, like smaller class sizes and that's probably why I chose Adam State.